Superdome against then Luau Sinter, was the cap Kareem Abdul Jabbar. By the way, Houston's got a good team again this year. Kelvin Sampson's team, ranked fourth. Wood, LeBron, Rui, and Rando. LeBron with control of it. Farther on the outside by Green. LeBron cross court to Rui. They swing all the way to Rui for three. Rebound to Jeff Green. He has been in the round forever, and I mean that. And still has a lot of bounce. Yes, he does. Underneath, Dylan Brooks. You know, Dylan Brooks is not a bad offensive player. When he's doing that. Yes. He's, when he's not, not a great three-point shooter, but when he's in the paint area, he uses his physicality pretty well. He's second team all defense in the NBA. Here comes the Mandalorian. Count it in. Seven and 15. 18 and 15 against the West. And their high water mark this year is five over the 500 mark. Houston was four over 500 pretty early in the season. They're playing good basketball. Green. Trying to direct traffic. Goes through a couple of those Lakers and a foul out on the perimeter. Fewer, though, than 10 points in 10 straight games. You'll get another. Hey, while we have a moment, let's pause for this from Carl. You know, give some of the younger players some, some much needed guidance. Stu, it was a decision that the Rockets made before the year. They brought in the Joka, and remember, it was truly a young team, but they decided to bring in the vets and kind of give it a go. And they're going for it. They're really great to play in that release. This is not a team that is tanking, per se. They think the playoffs here is pretty bad. Bleed the lob inside out, all the way to the corner, on its way. Weak side rebound, LeBron. You mentioned how they don't turn the ball over as much anymore, and a lot of that is Fred Van Fleet. Absolutely. Reeves, superb. That's going to be unavailable for the rest of this game. Without Vanderbilt, Van Fleet moves in, kicks it out and outside on its way, and hits the back heel. LeBron looking ahead, surveys the floor. LeBron wants to get to the rim. He goes at Jeff Green and scores. He finishes so well with his left hand. That's a dominant hand for him. A lot of stuff that way, but Jeff Green says, I can do it too. Coming Just to play yeah, in unaccept that half. Unacceptable. This is very reminiscent of the first game when they scored 128. Lakers won by one in the next game, and then the Lakers won by 10 the next time out. Both of those were in Los Angeles. Hot your board, the hot potato goes right to LeBron. He's got Brooks in front of him. LeBron sinks it into the corner. Really hot your board. That was close. It's taken by Cam Whitmore. Whitmore, here he goes. Out of control this time, but a blocking foul. Dominated by the team of plus 20. However, the Rockets have outscored their opponent nine out of the last ten. Lakers shooting up together for over 48 great years. Well, D'Lo comes back, takes uh, Christian Wood out of the lineup, so neither team now a traditional center. The pace should be even quicker. It is back to the largest lead of the game until D'Angelo scores the two-point basket. Russell with 15 points. No other Laker has more than seven in the first half. And plenty of time remaining in it, just under the nine-minute mark. Jeff Green. This is the end of the floor where somehow the Lakers are going to have to develop some continuity. Well, all the way to the rim, Jay Sean Tate has his way. And you see how easily he got there? They are shooting 64%. Reeves stopped, wanted to get the whistle, tried to bounce it to Prince as he flashed. There comes Whitmore. Whoa. For the Lakers in this. Uh, Campaign. Good box out by AD and then he loses it. Changun picks his pocket three pointer. Got to get a bounce. They don't. Houston is just hitting that offensive glass. Bounce. AD's not there. Yeah, guess who he is? LeBron, AD, Prince, and Reeves. Got your starting lineup in the game as LeBron gets bumped and down he goes. Second team foul. Uh, they're checking to see if they want to challenge this. They're saying maybe that he just 
Lost lead changes. You've only had two so far this evening. You know, I was just going to say, you're not going to have 22 lead changes tonight. <laughs> All right, and that was back and forth. Steph and LeBron. This classic stuff. Green runs into LeBron, but stays with it. 11 to shoot. Barry Smith Jr. rolls around and falls in. I mean, a catch and shoot with Austin Reed really about in his jersey. Jabari Smith has missed the last four with an ankle sprain. Of course, he comes back just in time for the Lakers. Integral part of this team. Reeves is wide open. Cannot knock it down. Jalen Green, of course, one of the top picks in the draft. Green for three. They're at it again. They are at it again. And it's a 21-point lead, the largest of the game. I hope so. LeBron, AD, sleepwalking so far, especially on defense, the Lakers. LeBron, the touch pass, that's good movement. Over to Torian, who hits the three. His first scratch for Torian in quite some time, because he was scoreless against the Warriors. Yes, he was. Only shot it twice in 24 minutes. It was his third scoreless game of the season. Shen Goon turns. Brings it right back out to Green. Mentioned he was the second pick in 2021. Boy, there was a wrestling match underneath there, in there? No whistle was called. That Ooh. one, that's a heartbreak. Ooh, Whitmore had that one go just <laughs> about all the way down. 3 17. Mm. To be expected. Yeah. Boy, the Lakers had a chance about five times to win that game. Finally did. Underneath. Boy, Jayshon Tate, he was really a big part of what they were trying to do about a year or so ago. Fell out of favor a little bit. Really, playing. really a tough defender. Yes. LeBron down the middle goes AD, lay it up and miss. They did a good job not fouling AD. The lob underneath, good play by LeBron. Let it perfectly, here comes Davis. Good job by LeBron, broke up that lob. That was going to be an easy deuce, but LeBron broke that up. That was defense to offense. That's turnover number five for Houston. Lakers have turned it over six times. Lakers turned it over 20 in their last game. Getting <laughs> knocked down is uh, Jay Sean Tate. Bounce to Shen Goon. He goes all the way and lays it up and in. The Lakers, Shen Goon. The Lakers look tired. And again, it's not a back-to-back -back situation. It will be tomorrow in the ATL. Nice lob. The lob and the jam and the finish by Davis. A little fake hook shot by LeBron, which was definitely a lob pass. LeBron averages seven and a half assists a game. James, 39 years of age. He is uh, setting the record this year for all-star selections that he doesn't necessarily have to have surgery. And we still have a lot of love for Julius Randle. What a great young man he is. Here is D'Lo. Back to the basket is A.D. Four and a half to play. Lakers trying to find their way back into this one. Oh, LeBron just very patient. That time in the backhand layup is good. Yeah, that was a, one of the easier hoops in the half court that the Lakers have had. See if they can finish strong. Have the last couple of baskets after being down by 21. Free Van Vliet. Shen Goon leans in. He tries to tap it. He kept it alive for an instant. Referees will look at each other. Van Vliet's reach. Van Vliet, a champion with Toronto in 2019. Shen Goon. Jabari Smith Jr. Rebound to Max. That's one of the rare one-handed rebounds you'll see from Max. Max going to post it up to LeBron James. He's alone out here on an island. Backing in, backing in. In the key. Torian, that's his sweet spot. Long shot, long rebound. Chance for the break. But the Lakers do get back defensively. Brooks, who's played a big part in this game, <laughs> baiting Vanderbilt into getting kicked out. Jen Goon. LP Shark this year. Again, I mentioned 60% in the paint this month. Lob to A.D. Brooks is bumping with him. And A.D. 
It's too small that time. Yeah, he just went over the top of Dylan Brooks. 